Welcome back to our channel, where we share updates and untold stories about Catherine, Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, we bring you some news. Camilla in fury, as Princess Anne supports Prince William's big plan of new monarchy marked Princess Catherine's return. The British royal family has become accustomed to disagreements within and significant choices, and it seems that the current episode in their renowned history is no different. As the royal household travels to Scotland for their yearly stay at Balmoral Castle, an important discussion about the probable future of the monarchy is approaching. Prince William's top priority this year is to implement a vital reorganization strategy that already triggered significant controversy, particularly among Queen Camilla, Prince Harry, and Prince Andrew. The Balmoral Summit, an essential conversation. According to a recent story, the members of the royal family will gather at Balmoral Castle not only for their customary repose, leisure, and familial cohesion, but also for a critical deliberation over the future of the monarchy. Prince William has begun preparations for this conference with the goal of discussing the financial and operational reorganization of the royal household. However, Queen Camilla was staunchly against his scheme. Financial restructuring streamlining payrolls. According to an insider, Prince William intends to reduce payroll expenditures by eliminating posts that he considers unneeded. This action would impact those who are part of Camilla's immediate family, such as her son, daughters and sister, as well as Prince Harry and Prince Andrew. At the Balmoral Summit, a vigorous discussion is likely to conclude the choice, with Princess Anne solidly supporting William's financial approach. After careful consideration, King Charles is reportedly leaning towards agreeing with his son, disregarding the expected anger from Queen Camilla. Expanding the cohort of young royals in the workforce Prince William envisions the monarchy's foreseeable future to include broadening the responsibilities of the next cohort of active royals. The idea proposes redistributing duties now held by Queen Camilla, Prince Harry, and Prince Andrew to other eligible members of the royal household, including Prince Edward, Duchess Sophie, Princess Beatrice, Lady Ludiz, Mike Tyndall, and Zara Tyndall. This method aims to revitalize the monarchy and ensure its relevance in today's world. Guidance and Instruction for Juvenile Royalty An essential element of William's strategy is providing education and mentoring to young members of the royal family who are employed. We anticipate Princess Anne, Duchess Sophie of Edinburgh, and Princess Catherine to play significant roles in this endeavor. Princess Catherine, who is believed to be making a favorable recovery after a six-month struggle with cancer, is getting ready to recommence her royal responsibilities and make a valuable contribution to this mentoring initiative. This strategy emphasizes the significance of equipping the younger generation with the necessary skills and knowledge to fulfill their upcoming duties within the framework of the monarchy. The responsibilities of Queen Camilla have changed. Accessible information predicts that other members of the royal circle will greatly diminish Queen Camilla's responsibilities during the first part of 2024. Prince William's objective in making this transition is to optimize the efficiency of the monarchy and guarantee its long-term viability. Princess Anne has expressed overwhelming backing for this initiative, stating her conviction that King Charles's past efforts to streamline the monarchy were not enough. The ongoing conflict within the British royal household has escalated, with Queen Camilla opposing Prince William's ambitious proposal to restructure the monarchy's future. Princess Anne's steadfast endorsement of William's concept exacerbates the already intricate and tense situation, leaving Camilla feeling alienated and deceived. The planned reforms have significant implications for Queen Camilla, extending beyond mere royal procedure or financial restructuring. They have a direct impact on her family and her role within the monarchy. The proposal to abolish payroll roles for her son, daughters, and sister, in addition to the exclusion of Prince Harry and Prince Andrew, has proven to be very difficult for her to come to terms with. Camilla perceives these actions as a direct insult to her family, and the reality that Princess Anne endorses them only intensifies her feeling of betrayal. Princess Anne's Unwavering Support Princess Anne has always supported Prince William's desire to reform. She has clearly expressed three crucial arguments in favor of the responsibility. 1. Health issues. After undergoing cancer treatment, 
King Charles is reportedly in a fragile state of health, and some senior members of the royal family should consider retirement due to their advanced age. 2. Insufficient number of active royal family members, the first six months of 2024 have brought attention to a scarcity of working royals, emphasizing the need for fresh individuals to assume these responsibilities. 3. To maintain the monarchy's loyalty and prestige, those without connections should abstain from working for the royal establishment. Queen Camilla needs to consider relinquishing her position in order to focus on the health of King Charles and the overall well-being of the family. Historically available evidence has always shown a tense and difficult connection between Queen Camilla and Princess Anne. The ongoing conflict has become much more intense due to the current discussion about reorganization. Queen Camilla allegedly has a sense of betrayal due to Prince William's choice, while Princess Anne's steadfast endorsement of the plan further contributes to this sentiment. She has voiced her discontent, asserting that William's activities have caused King Charles to be in an atmosphere of upheaval. Princess Anne's pragmatic approach to royal responsibilities and unwavering dedication to the monarchy have frequently garnered recognition. Her endorsement of Prince William's proposal is based on her conviction that the royal family must undergo modernization and improve its efficiency. Anne's support for the proposal is not only an indifferent agreement, she has taken an active role for the restructure, emphasizing the importance of a younger, more energetic group of working royals. According to the source, Camilla sees Anne's endorsement of William's proposal as a direct affront to her. The two ladies have maintained an intricate connection throughout the years, but this recent event has further intensified pre-existing difficulties. Princess Anne has expressed her opinions on the coming years of the monarchy in a public manner, often suggesting that the older generation, including Camilla, may have to relinquish their positions to allow for the emergence of new individuals. An appeal for comprehension. According to insiders, Queen Camilla has never stayed silent in response to these extensive reforms. She has publicly voiced her dissatisfaction with Prince William's idea on many occasions. During an earlier conversation, she expressed her long-standing belief in the significance of family and devotion. These suggested adjustments directly oppose those fundamental foundations. People interpret Camilla's remarks as a direct criticism of both William and Anne. She believes that the reorganization plan weakens the cohesion of the royal household and disregards the significant contributions of older members, including herself. She struggles with the perception of marginalization in favor of a younger cohort, clearly experiencing emotional distress. According to insider information, King Charles is well aware of the tension that exists between Queen Camilla and Princess Anne. Charles, who was already grappling with health complications resulting from his cancer treatment, now finds himself in an awkward predicament. He is confused between endorsing his wife and endorsing his son's aspirations for the future. Charles's eventual acquiescence to William's strategy has further intensified Camilla's sensation of betrayal, resulting in her experiencing a sense of isolation inside her own family. Public and Expert Perspectives Public opinion and professional study have evaluated Prince William's ambitious proposal for an upcoming monarchy. Many view his strategy as a crucial step towards modernizing and preserving the monarchy in a world that is constantly changing. Experts believe that simplifying the royal household's operations and prioritizing a younger cohort of active royals would ensure the institution's continued existence and significance. According to the source, the Balmoral Summit is to serve as a pivotal occasion for the British monarchy. The conclusion of Prince William's reform proposal, which is receiving both support and criticism, will shape the coming years of the royal family. Princess Anne's firm support and Queen Camilla's opposition create a situation with significant consequences, and the future course of action is still unclear. Thank you for seeing the video. Please provide us with your opinions, and farewell for now.